Hi there, it's Ella from Modelur. In this starter video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of how Modelur can help you quickly and with this create interactive model of your urban designs. Let's get started! One of the common ways of how to start when generating a 3D model of your design is to import a 2D drawing into SketchUp. SketchUp supports various kinds of imports. Right here, we are going to import a simple line work in DWG file that I produced in AutoCAD. So, let's say you have a basic 2D plan of your site. City blocks of parcels, some roads, urban morphology of city tissue, etc. And you want to create a 3D model in SketchUp. I'll go to File Import and import the file with my AutoCAD line work. Select Preferred Options here in Options. Every time you bring it in, it's one component. So first, I'm going to explode it. Right-click and explode. As you can see, now I can click on those individual components. Now, obviously I got my plan in 2D geometry of lines. They represent outlined city blocks or buildings. First, I want to create city blocks. Upon an import of a DWG file into SketchUp, the geometry is automatically organized in SketchUp native tags, according to the AutoCAD layers of the drawing. This makes it easy for me now to hide all the layers that I don't need at the moment. So I'm hiding the roads, pavements, existing buildings and I'm leaving the city blocks right here. Now we are ready for Modeler. It's really simple to create city blocks using it. First, let's run the Modeler. Now I'm selecting those lines here and click on Create City Blocks button. As you can see, Modeler automatically created city blocks faces. City block is a horizontal element to represent group of parcels, usually bounded by streets and constrained by the same set of regulations. In Modeler, there are two basic ways to create a city block. You can draw a face, select it and click Create City Blocks. This turns the face into a SketchUp group that represents a city block. If you don't select anything and click on Create City Block, Modeler will switch to Line Tool, so you can draw a face of any shape. And when you close the loop, city block will be created. Just make sure that the faces are planar. Modeler allows you to create a city block by selecting only one edge of a closed loop. For that, you have to mark the option from one edge in the Options tab. In our case, we have already created a few of the city blocks on the site. I will just go here and switch on all the other tags of roads and context morphology back on. Those city blocks can be different in terms of land use and other urban parameters. Let's specify those parameters for each specific city block of our development. As you can see under the Whole Plot Modeler tab, the default land use is set to residential. Therefore, the residential land use is automatically attributed to the city blocks created. If you want to change the parameters of a specific city block, select it and head over to the City Block tab. Then here, under the land use, you can change the land use of a city block accordingly. Now let's specify the land uses of our city blocks. For example, we can leave this city block for residential use, set this one to service, this one to parking, and the land use of this one being industry. You can of course set the custom land uses. This way you are completely free to design according to the needs. Add a new land use here in the tab Land Use. You can select its custom name, color and set the parameters such as units, parking and green areas, assessed investment and others. To move further, here in the tab City Block, you can name the City Block. This will help you to be more organized working on the model. You can also set a variety of urban parameters that apply for a specific City Block, such as maximum permitted floor area ratio, 
site coverage, maximum building height, distance between the buildings, etc. Let's define those parameters for our city blocks here. To do so, I'm selecting a city block and set the parameters that I want to apply to it, like higher maximum permitted floor area ratio and number of stories for this city block here. And for example, changing the minimum distance between buildings for this block here. When you're working with many different city blocks, usually some of them will need to have identical parameters, and it would be inefficient to edit each one separately. Luckily, you can use the Sync tool that will synchronize all the selected city blocks. First, you have to select one or more city blocks and then click the Sync button or the picker icon. The picker tool will turn on and you can click on the block from which you wish to transfer the parameters. So here, I choose city block of residential land use and match it with the previously selected city block of industrial land use. You can also use the control key to inject the parameters of the last big city block into specific city blocks. Let's go back to our original land uses. As we can see, a city block can't be moved because it's locked by default. If you want to edit it, you have to click right mouse button and select Unlock. Now we can move it, edit or delete it. A city block usually represents a group of parcels, so it gets locked upon the creation to make sure you don't move it by accident. If you prefer not to lock city block upon creation, you can go to Options and uncheck Lock city block upon creation. Those are basics of creating city blocks in Modulo. Now, let's move further and create buildings on the city blocks in our model. On this point, I'm going to show you three different ways of how to create buildings and quickly generate urban massing. First of all, you can create a default modular building by clicking on Create Building. This will generate a default building in the origin of the SketchUp model coordinate system in a default shape, and you can later reshape it. Modular enables you to create simple buildings or complex buildings that are of mixed uses. Second way of creating a building is that you can use the line tool and create a simple geometry of building footprint directly on the city block. Let's try this here. You can then select the face Click Create Building and Modular will generate the building directly according to your outline. You can then modify the building by setting the building parameters in the Building tab. Let's for example change the height of the first story for this building. If a building is set on a city block, it will inherit its parameters. And if you move it to another city block, it will change according to the parameters that are set for that city block. This way, you can change the buildings of your development automatically, according to the zoning regulations that apply to specific city blocks. This is only the base of creating building volumes using Modular. Now, you don't always want or need to draw the outlines of your building inside of SketchUp. Another way is to generate the buildings automatically from imported 2D geometry. Now, remember, at the beginning of this video we imported a 2D geometry into SketchUp, including those building outlines. Now, I want to generate building volumes out of them. To do so, I would simply select some edges of the closed loop that define those buildings and click the Create Building. This way, you can get from 2D to an exact 3D building volume in a matter of seconds. As you can see, the city block became red as the building volumes were created. That is because of the modeler is warning me that something is not in line with the parameters set for this city block. If I go here to City Block tab, 
I can see that the maximum permitted floor area ratio is exceeded. I can change that by setting a different floor area ratio or modify the building to meet the set criteria. For example, here I'm making it higher to 1.5. Now, let's move forward and take a look at the third option of populating a city block. On this still empty city block, I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of a cool modeler tool named Urban Massing Generator. Basically, what the generator does, it enables you to really quickly generate and test different design scenarios that comply with the set zoning regulations. To do that, first select the city block and go to City Block tab, where you can find the Generate button. Click on it and model will regenerate a new development, based on the parameters of your selected city block. You can then go to Tools and open Massing Generator to bring up the user interface where you can set specific Massing Generator parameters. You can, for instance, set the maximum building length, wide and mix of uses and its appropriate ratio. Then you can click on Clear the Buildings to clear the city block and click Generate to regenerate the development. Modeler will follow the parameters that you set and generate another development. You can regenerate it and change the settings over and over again until you are satisfied with the generated results. This way you can quickly test combinations of floor area ratio site coverage, the distance between the buildings, and even mixed land use, always staying within the boundaries of local zoning regulations. Now you know three simple ways of how to create building volumes and urban massing with Modeloo. During this stage of design and during all the following stages, Modeloo allows you to control and monitor a variety of urban parameters of your development, right in front of you on the screen. Click on the Survey tab and choose how you want the calculated data to be displayed. The parameters are calculated for the whole plot area, selected city block or selected building separately. And that gives you a full control over your designing. The data is calculated in real time. It means that you can change your design and model will automatically recalculate the parameters according to the changes. You can change your design as well by modifying the building volumes. For example, use Slice tool to reshape the buildings. Use Push Pull tool to create terraces and lodges. Change building parameters like number of stories and building use. And for example, use a scale tool to quickly resize a building. Modeler works together with SketchUp native tools that can make your designing process real smooth. It will also adapt and recalculate your project data so you can fully focus on your design. Hope you enjoyed those first steps into Modeler. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to contact us. Thank you.